Hey Stampers, Gail again. And somebody asked me, would I make a circular card? So I do own one of these. It is the X cut. Um, I think it's just a circle cutter. You just, I think I paid about six pound for this in the range. And you can adjust the side mainly for bigger cards because you can do four inches, five inches, six, all the way up to 12 and a half, I think it is. I think it's about 12 and a half. Um, it will cut in that because the blade is here and you, once you take this cap off, it, it, it will show you the blade, but then you press. I find though that I need to a temporary adhesive down my piece of cardstock because as I'm going round, I'm pressing on too hard. It's just the paper just goes with it. So I'll show you what I do. I've got my cutting mat. We'll take you down to the other camera now. So I'll still be in the top corner, so don't worry. So I'm still here. <laughs> so the card I'm going to make is this one. Uh, it's not much detail on there, but you can you see the sparkle? So the sentiment inside when you lift it up, it's a little easel card. It says, leave a little sparkle wherever you go. Now, I haven't played with this set either yet. I bought it last year uh, in June and I still didn't get a chance to play with it. And there's a, quite a few on my um, my shelving unit over there that there's still 12 or 15 stamp sets I haven't used. So this is just a temp temporary, uh, this is just my, uh, what do they call it? <laughs> I've forgotten my uh -huh. <laughs> I've still forgotten it <laughs> my trial one my my prototype so I'll show you what I did so I'm this is my circle there is roughly about five and a half inches so I am setting this at five and a half which is uh, this little notch there whoops let me see there it is so this is four this one is five this one is five and a half and then six so I'm gonna put on the five and a half and you can tighten these up then I think I'm loosening it off there we go so you just want to tighten that up nice and tight and then you can remove the cap which reveals the blade which is a right little sharp thing there can you see that well, it's quite hard to see actually so I've got my cutting mat which I know will allow me to cut all the way around I should do because this is five and a half inches yeah so that See, I'm going to use three pieces of this cardstock which measure roughly, uh, let me just tell you actually, what is, I know I've just cut them down to six, and this is, it's five and five, five and seven eighths by six, and, and I'm going to use three, one's for the base, one's for the fold in the center and one is for this top bit well, i've got temporary adhesive and what i do i find i need to glue this down into place so that shouldn't come off whoa so i'm going to roughly check before i do any cutting that it'll fit all the way around my paper and it does so you need to press firmly oh I might have to glue this down see I'm gonna put my elbow on it I can't <laughs> let me turn around <laughs> so oh I don't know I don't know how I'm gonna do this but let's try I'm gonna go back make sure I've cut all the way round oh see I must have moved ah look at that so let's see well that's not too bad I can trim that up just 
grab my scissors because it's I've got the line there this can be the one I use in the center for the folding but this is quite thick cardstock as well so let's just hope I get the other bit right And the adhesive, and I'm not going to rub it off there, but it comes off here so easy, you just rub it. And that will take all that a temporary adhesive off. So there's one. Let's see if we can do the next one in a full swoop. <laughs> oh, okay, you know what you like. So more temporary adhesive. You just got to do it in one full swoop and make sure that this does not move. So press it really hard, find the centre roughly. Oh my! Ah, there we go. It's gone over a little bit again. I must have moved slightly, so don't worry about that. I can tidy that up again. But my temporary adhesive just comes off. So I'm just going to tidy that little bit up. Make it look sort of roundish. <laughs> It's when I get to a set, you know, you, you'll you know when. I'll tell you what I will do as well. Let me just get this adhesive off. Getting rid of my bits. Looks pretty round to me. So we've got two. I'm just going to add a little bit of a temporary adhesive under here as well. That's better. Yay, that's better. More temporary adhesive. Stick that down. Fingers crossed this time. It's not moving. So find the centre. You've got to press really hard. Scoop that time, yeah, and that's what you should know. So that's going to be my top piece, which is the best piece. We got there in the end. We got there in the end. But a great tool. We're just going to lift this off, and again, just rub off your temporary adhesive. I didn't do too much on the card because I thought they're layering themselves, and I've chosen different colour. This time, I'm going to be doing in soft sea foam lovely color because i want it there so i'm just checking if i've got any little bits of stragglers then i'll just nip off the end that looks good to me a little bit of rough there but one of these is going to get folded in half and you're not going to see it the other one is going to get hidden and it's going to be on the bottom so we're going to have the best bit showing on the bottom bit so Right, now I've cut these. These are six by six. Again, a bit more temporary adhesive. And you need two of these. I'm going to layer the top and the underneath. I think it was a bit bland, but you can write your message up here. So I'm going to decorate this bit as well. So now we need to adjust this down to five and a quarter. So undo. And that is going to come down halfway again. And I'm going to cut that down. So 
wrist mat. Again, just check. I know it's going to, but we're not cutting anything yet until we've. I'm going to press down. You do need to make sure you've got clearance on your desk as well. Perfect. So there's that one. Let's just check that against our white. And I'm not so bothered about taking the glue off this one because it's going to get glued on top of here anyway. Just going to tidy those little bits up. I think my blade might need changing. Mind you, I'm saying that I've never used it before, so only once. So that's our layer, and that's a quarter of an inch smaller. I might take that off actually and use the other side. So, again, just get rid of your bits. This side looks a lot neater than the other side. Just gonna trim that little bit of a straggler off there. That looks so much neater on there, better. So we need another one of those now for the bottom. I think I'm getting the hang of it finally. Now I'm doing it all in one go. So roughly find the set uh, the center. Press and spin. Move the camera then. <laughs> so, so that looks a nice one. Oh, that's better. A lot smoother on that one. May even turn this one over. I get that temporary adhesive from the range, and it's like two pound for the whole thing, and because you don't use it too often. That looks a lot neater that one so we're getting our circles now now we need to adjust again for our DSP and these are six by six so I'm now taking this down to five inches making sure I've got it bang on before I tighten it up Again, I'm just hoping that everything holds roughly in the center and press. You do need a bit of desk space. Perfect. A little bit of a missed a bit there. Perfect circle. Oops. Oh gosh. That will glue flat in a minute. It's me. I'm rough handed. <laughs> I'm sorry. Well, let's do one more. Let's try not to. Uh... Oh, by the way, um, for my sentiment, this is three by two, one and seven eighths by two and seven eighths. And then this is one and five eighths by two and five eighths because I like the black showing a little bit more. So that's what you're going to need for your sentiments as well. Last piece, let's take it off carefully this time, Gainer. Oh, at least we're getting there. And I will do another card with circles, just circles. Uh, in the next week or two well in the next few days should I say in case you haven't got one of these so let's oh don't move right but these are so cheap to buy 
Perfect. Yeah, I think it was like four pa uh, five pound forty nine. So I'm going to put the little cap back on because I don't want to cut to myself. Simple as. There we go. And it's called the X Cut. Um, you can get these in the range and also Amazon, I think. But if I can find a link, I will put it in the description bar. So let's peel this gently off. Remove our temporary adhesive. And this is the one we're going to stamp on. So we can just remove all those bits. And as you can see, I don't know if you can see it from there, I didn't use this and cut through my little plastic mat. But I can get another one of these. So just a desk protector. So I've got temporary adhesive over everything. I'll just get my glue eraser. And that takes it off so easy. Just give my desk a little wipe. Don't mean like I had teeth showing. Oh, I'll tell you what I have got. I'm just gonna give it a quick spray. It's called Stick Away. So let's move all these bits. Just give my little spray and it's exactly the same believe it and don't go out and get fooled by that can of spray which cost 10 quid it is literally roughly a bottle of wd-40 which you can get from the pound shop and it does exactly the same thing there we go nice and smooth no more glue desk is clean apart from the scratches <laughs> So let's get some, let's get all our circles together. Let me just straighten that out with my bone folder. Nobody's going to see it like I'm saying. Once it's glued down. So my top piece is my best piece. And I'm just going to see which is the best out of these two. I think that one. This was my second best piece, <laughs> but I made a bit of a a boo boo there. So this is gonna be my bottom piece, and so that is gonna go on there as well. Just got my little quarter of an inch border all the way around, and when the glue's on there, you're not gonna see it go down anyway. So let's get some gluing done. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, it's fine. I'm just putting this piece on for now. So I'll just layer this up, lovely. Perfect. Now we are gonna fetch our scoreboard in. So that's my top piece. I'm not touching that. This is the piece we're going to um, fold in half and score. So what did I say this was? Five and a half. So that's two and three quarters. And we're just going to fold that in half. And we can burnish that. Now this one, which is the rough piece at the back, I'm putting this in and I'm just scoring at half inch. And I'm folding that back. I should have just cut that top bit off first. I'm just going to remove that with my little scissors. Perfect. So this piece now is going to get glued on my 
my semicircle. So this is, let me just suss this out. So that's that. So that needs to be glued across there. Let me just check. So that needs to come up actually, and then that is going to get attached on there, like so. So you're going to have it like that. So let's glue this piece, it's the bit we scored at half an inch. Just glue the half inch I've slept since last night <laughs> So let me suss that again So the up piece so You're going to put these two together And then fold back the half inch And you're going to glue that on there So when you lift this up, doesn't that look doesn't that look love coded? It does do a little bit, doesn't it? Right, it doesn't matter, I don't think. Because then this piece will be glued on there. So just that half section will get glued right up close to there. And then it will sit up. Yay! We're getting there. So let's add some glue to here. And then you can just attach this making sure it's all the way around level at the very bottom give that a burnish and then this should pokey pokey up so as long as we put our image on straight it doesn't matter that that under piece one looks a bit on the wonk <laughs> um, because and you know, you can even, when it's up, you can write your message on the back here as well. So that's all in place. Let's glue on our gorgeous top piece. Less is more, they say. and keep a nice even border all the way around. There we go, that looks okay. Let's get rid of this. Perfect. So now we know that when we stand this up, going to sit. You do need to trim not that piece, that piece off because look when it's sent it's going to give you a lip on the back of your card otherwise. So let's just trim that piece off as well. Perfect. And now it sits up. Lovely. Perfect she says all in. we do need to do our stopper so let's just glue these two together as well and I'm gonna add some foam onto the back to give me the lift I need 
we've all made easel cards before and this is that oh i've got a green piece let's purple piece let's get another different color out that will match my so i've got a paler oh it's quite bright that isn't it <coughs> We're going to cut it slightly a little bit smaller anyway, so just basically I'm going to trim off just underneath and then just down that side. And then we can attach that. To the back of our card. Perfect. And then this can get glued in. I can just see it poking out there. Can you see that? That's better. Can you see it now? And then you can place this. I'm just going to put it just so it touches the book. Oh, again, again, again. You nearly forgot your DSP. So we can trim that little bit off. So I'm just going to fold that back. should have measured all this and done it first shouldn't I you want you, I'm gonna have I'm gonna have the stripes I think on this side I'm gonna take a little fraction more off there I just put my elbow in that that's perfect no I'm gonna have the dots little bit more decoration so attach that so we've got a nice little border all the way round and that's flattened out our place now that's a lot better that's it now we can add some more glue on here And I'm just taking it to the edge of the card. Oh, I might do it actually as the. Pop that there. And then this is where afterwards we can put our little sentiment of the sparkle wherever you go. Leave a little sparkle wherever you go. So I'm going to be doing some stamping. I have my little machine set up. I'll do that in a minute, actually. I've got my tree die in there, and I've added some DSP and a paper shim because it's quite detailed. It needs to go through. It's already stuck down as well with washi tape. I know it makes it a little bit stiffer, but it makes for a better cut. I'm going there and back. Ooh. Ooh. Let me see if it's cut all the way. Oh, see, now it's not cut all the way through there. So I'm going to take that through again. I'm going to turn it round. And I'm going to double this up. And just put it over where it hasn't cut. Let's see if it goes through now. Should be using my intricate uh, die cutting plate really on the big shot. So oh, has it cut? Not quite. Something wrong with this paper. Let's see. It's 
cut it from no it's not cold I'm going to get a fresh piece of cardstock because I'm not having that and what I might do actually is uh, put the two pieces of card together that way I know it cuts through everything there I'll be two seconds I've just got some paper bits stuck in here there we go so let's get some more card stuck oh let's get the scrap spin up right I want quite a thick piece so I've got two lots of card stuff that's the thicker piece I'm going to take two. That is really thin. I've got two different lots of card, black cardstock, see, so I am going to cut these down to three inches because that's the width of my little machine. Right. I'm going to see if this one. That doesn't feel too bad. So let's stick that down. I'm going to pop this one underneath. And then take this through. Fingers and thumbs, they are. I love these silhouette type cards. Right, let's fetch it back. What I can do then is check. It's more or less caught up there. Do you know what, Joe? I don't think it's cut all the way through that either. I'm going to do that again. Maybe add another shin. Oh. Let's remove that one because that's. Let's just fold that over and put it in the difficult area, which tends to be all those branches. The first one I could cut out as well had the same problem. Oh. <laughs> Let's see now. If that can cut through three pieces, I don't know what will. There we go. That's got it. Woo! There we go. Perfect. Take away my washi. God, that was a struggle, wasn't it? I always find it better for me to poke with pokey tools. You never get the the hang of those dye brushes that much. Thread this out nice and gently. Perfect. Got a few little stragglers. So much better. Yeah, intricate dye than me. Oof. There we go. I think there's a piece up there. One there. A couple there. And we're good to go. I will remove those bits later. Well, I'll get them out after. Let's 
save myself a job for later. And that's so cute. Oh, and the straggler there. Perfect. So, this is our piece. And I'm going to add the tree first. I think that is so cute. And I'm going to try and get a dot of glue on every branch. I'm not squeezing, I'm just hovering the bottle over everything. I'm just dotting. Deep thought on my face. So I don't want anything to poke up. There we go. So I can attach my silhouette. Give it a rub. I don't want anything coming up, and if I do, I can just add a spot more which dries clear I love it so with the little girl I stamped I had to go over her because it was on designer series paper with my black pen because she came out really pale but this is was dark embossing uh, DSP so I'm getting this juicy as I can Just going to stamp it straight. I wish it had been a photopolymer because you could go back over it again then. Just let the ink soak into the DSP. See what I mean? It's really pale. Don't worry about that because I'll do the same again. going to stamp my little, just leave that to one side, I find that if you swash it round the ink comes to the surface and then you can really go to town and this just fits in there just right. Just letting the ink soak into the paper. Oh, oh look, it's left the L off. I will put that in with my uh, journaling pen. Oh, Gain is having disasters. <laughs> Not too bad. Not too bad. So that can go there with the fine lines on the tree. Darken them up with the journey pen. Okay. <coughs> and then I get my black pen and just go round the image it's just like you've stamped an image and just need to go back over it or like you're colouring it in just to darken it up spots are coming through <laughs> it's 
So I'm just going around the outside first. And just filling in the, the left, the what's left. I suppose I could have used the stamp apparatus as well. Just kept inking it up. Doesn't bother me doing this. <coughs> Excuse me. Switch ends now. I mean, I am stamping on designer series paper, but there we go, I've darkened her right up now. She looks gorgeous. And now I'm gonna do the whole, I've got a black here. I'm gonna do that. Let's see if it's on some noir. Let's have a look, see how dark this one is. It's a little bit darker. I suppose you're just going over the same area. little bit make it as dark as you like Gina's in deep thought. She's gone quiet. There we go. Even darker now. I love the silhouette. It looks really sweet. And then that can get attached and so can this. But we haven't finished yet. That's blocked. That's better. I pull some strange faces while I'm gluing and cutting and colouring and Did I do it that way? No, I didn't do it on that one. So now you can position this wherever you want it to lay it. I don't want to really lay it flat flat because I want it to until I've got it in position. in position I can and then I just went over everything with my Wink Stella to give her that sparkle And over the tree as well. Just going to give this a little prime. That's got plenty of sparkle on there.
I mean, you could put, you could have added this sparkle on this before you glued it down, but because it's raised a little bit, I didn't seem to get any on my card. And even adding this for me is like colouring. I love it. Add a little sparkle wherever you go. I think that is lovely. Look at the sparkle on that. Beautiful. So, just one more thing to do now is to grab some of these little stars. And I use five. I put one either side. One at the top. Whoops. And then I added, oh, crumbs. One either side. Just to cover those little ones up. And there it is. There is those beautiful round leave a little sparkle cards made with round circles. Oh, I love it. I hope you like it. I would really love a thumbs up and a share. That would be amazing. If you've not subscribed to my channel, as you can see down the bottom, it says, please press subscribe and the little bell icon. That way you'll be notified every single day of the videos that I put up. And again, has gone totally blind now. She can't find the end of <laughs> like a glue to put the pin in. OMG. Oh my goodness, I can't, I can't see. I can't see nothing if I look up, whoa, but I can see as plain as day now. There's something catchy on the end. Perfect. See, put the other glasses on. I works. Oh, I'll tell you what you can do. I'm going to do it on this one. I'm just going to prime my pen again. And because we're leaving a little sparkle, I'm just going around the edge of this one. And if you wanted, Juice my pen up nicely. Make sure it's not too. Oh, wow, that's running. And then you can just go over the thicker parts of your word. To make that sparkle, too. Oh, I like it. Perfect. Mama Wen Costello girl. <laughs> there we go. I think it's plain, it's sim uh, simplistic, and but it's to the point. It says, leave a little sparkle wherever you go. And you've got plenty of space either to write a message there. I don't know why that's coming apart or you can even write your message on the back so lovely nice round um card and that is five and a half by five and a half so you could fit that inside a six by six envelope easy with plenty of space no extra posting uh, packaging needed because it just goes off as a normal thin letter because it lies relatively flat so it goes through anybody's letterbox so there we go. I'm going to love and leave you all. Mwah. Thank you all for stopping by and see you soon. Bye.